Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing just a nice little day in the life. All right, if you're new here, I am Claire. This is my channel. Welcome. Um, today, I thought I would do a day in the life just because with everything kind of going on, like, it seemed like a good time to, like, have a good, like, a chat and a mental check-in and all that stuff. I hope that this video finds you well, both physically and mentally. I think at this point, I am feeling it mentally. Like, obviously, it's not physical because, uh, we, we do not have COVID in the house. We are healthy. But it has taken a huge mental toll on me in these past couple days. Um, I don't know. It's probably happening to you, too. Daddy? Yes, baby? I just want to watch Paw Patrol. Do you want to watch Paw Patrol? Yeah. All right. One second. All right. So, anyway, yeah, my mental health is not so good. Uh, last night, I had a really, really hard time sleeping. I was having weird dreams. I was waking up. I even came out from my bedroom and I sat on the sofa and I was like reading the news and like all that kind of stuff and just having a really, really hard time not having like over the top anxiety about everything. And of course, it's not panic to the point where I'm like running to the store and buying everything. It's just like thinking of every person I know over the age of 65 and like what's gonna happen to everybody? What's gonna happen with my job? What's gonna happen with my husband's job? Like what's gonna happen if we can't pay our bills like all this kind of anxiety it's like awful so let me know if anyone else is also having this type of anxiety because like it doesn't even matter like what I tell myself it's like I can't undo it you know so currently I'm in Michigan uh, and school has been canceled so luckily Fox is just a preschooler so I don't have like a huge undertaking like so many of you guys out there I can't imagine having like you know, two kids that normally are in like fourth grade or whatever, you know, if they were home, like, what would you do? Like, it's a lot. So my heart definitely goes out to all of you moms who are like trying to navigate education right now. Luckily, I can just like do some real basic things with that. But I thought I'd take you along today. This is like day one for us of like isolation. It's a Monday, I would normally be at work, but I changed my schedule to, cause I work two days a week, to Saturday and Sunday instead because I don't want my parents to have to watch my kids. Um, we just kind of made the decision that uh, to keep everybody healthy, we would rather have them be in isolation. So uh, we did that, but I still have to go to work and my husband still has to go to work. So he just got home from New York like two days ago. So, you know, it's, it's a mess. So, uh, you know, we're still trying to do the work thing, but we're trying to stay here as much as possible and also I know a lot can change between now and Saturday so um, you know hopefully because I'm really depending on that income uh, everything will be okay but you know you just you can't control everything I guess so yeah we are gonna try to make the most of this quarantine type day uh, so yeah hope you enjoy seeing how how I'm coping so Hopefully. Honestly, the worst part about this is my normal go-to for being anxious and full of anxiety is to like, you know, do a little binge eating. But because I can't eat all of our food, because we might need it, I can't even use massive amounts of food to comfort my soul. So, that, that also has me a little salty, if I'm being honest. Good morning, Desmond. Oh, hi, Mommy. Oh, hi. How are you doing today? Oh, I know. Already watching TV. It's an ad. What do we do? We just skip we it. Do? It's fine. Can I play outside guys to talk? You can absolutely play outside today. That is our saving grace. I know, I got these eggs at Target. They're chalk. They're shaped like Easter eggs. I thought that would be fun. There huh? you go. But don't go to Target unless it's an emergency. Yeah. Stay inside. <laughs> This you? is our mood today, right? Yeah. All 
right, so basically I decided I would feel better if I just put my face on, even though I'm not gonna leave the house. I think I'm gonna try to do that every day that I have to stay in. Maybe not a full face, but put in a little bit of effort, you know what I mean? All right, I have a good panicky story for you guys. So this is our second spring in this house. We moved into this house in April of last year, and I've always like wanted to be the type of person that has like a dope garden. So last year we didn't have like a ton of time to get going on the garden because our backyard was a mess. We had to remove like a thousand bushes and put a fence in and all that. So we just grew tomatoes last year, but this year I've been following someone called the MI Gardener. He's actually based in Michigan, but he has like 500,000 subscribers and he is amazing at the garden stuff. So I've been following him, getting very inspired for my garden and I'm worried that the COVID-19 and the isolation and the quarantine is gonna make it so I can't grow my garden. My original plan was to just to plant like the MI Gardener seeds. These are like wintery ones like grow well in cool weather and the rest I was gonna go to like the nursery and get little seedlings and plant them in the ground in like, you know, the end of May. But now I'm worried that that's not gonna happen. So when I did my emergency haul at uh, Aldi, I got a bunch of seeds, and I've never grown anything like this from seeds before, ever. So last night at like 3 in the morning, yes, I got out of my bed at 3 a.m. and went on Amazon and bought grow lights to start all my seeds inside so that uh, just in case like it really hits the fan, um, we'll at least have some carrots and some pumpkins and some cucumbers and some lettuce uh, at the end of the summer. So, was that super practical? No, but maybe when the time comes, you'll all be like, oh, we should have planted a garden like Claire, then we would have delicious fresh food to eat. So, yeah, a little bit dramatic, but that's the thing I did. I'm trying pretty hard not to check the news like over and over and over I think that really contributed to my anxiety yesterday so I'm just like you know every few hours instead of having my phone I'm getting on the computer and I'm looking to see if there's anything important that I need updated on and then I close it and I move on I'm in Michigan and the latest news here is that today at 3 o'clock they are closing all dine-in places, bars and restaurants. They're still allowed to do takeout, but they're closing down all the restaurants. I'm also going to do something right now. Maybe you guys have heard me talk about this on this channel before, but maybe you've heard of this. It's called Swag Bucks, and it is a website where you can like take surveys and watch videos and stuff, and they pay you real money. And you get like pennies, like one swag buck is one penny, so it takes a while to build up. But I've made literally hundreds of dollars off this. And also there's like a search function instead of like Google, if you look through swag bucks instead, you can earn money through there too. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to like amp it up a little bit and do like one to two dollars per day in this. And then when it gets to like $25, which right now I have $23.67, so I'm getting close. I'll cash it out and they'll just put it into my PayPal account. So I'm kind of trying to up that a little bit more right now just because I'm like panicking a little bit about expenses and like I, I'm stuck here. There's like not a lot I can do to earn money and like even if it is just 20 bucks, that's like 20 bucks I didn't have yesterday so might as well give it a go. So actually I will leave a link to Swagbucks down below. So their referral program is pretty good. It's like if you refer someone, you each earn $3, which is 300 swag bucks, which isn't bad. Hey, bud, are you getting bored? Yeah, okay, I'll do this later. We'll, we'll definitely do some surveys today, but if you're looking to make, like, maybe $5 today, if you're going to be alone in your house anyway, 
try giving swag bucks a try and use my referrals so that we can both make some extra money. Of course. Of co Listen to Fox, of course. All right, so Fox and I have developed a secret handshake, right? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> oh! We're so cool. You're so cool too. You're so cool too. I'm so from my <laughs> smartwatch. You're gonna show them your smartwatch? I plugged it in so that you could play with it today. Now, this is so fun. It's a little VTech smartwatch. He got it for Christmas like two years ago and it is still going strong. I'll link it down below because this is one of the best gifts he's ever gotten. You've had it for so long and it still works perfectly and you're still into it. Like how often can you get a child into a toy for multiple but years? Hey. All right, and now for the really inspiring lunch of a peanut butter sandwich, right? Sandwich? Yeah, well it's sandwich, but sometimes you call it a sandwich or a sammy. A sandwich. A sammic? No, you don't ever call it that. I don't have a water bottle, I have a little pop quiz bottle. A pop quiz bottle, oh! Interesting. If you guys watched my last video, I put together 14 pantry meals from Aldi for our emergency quarantine kit. So over here in this bin, these are all of our dinners for 14 days. Here is all of our like lunch stuff. And in here is breakfasts and snacks, just like some pretzels and stuff like that. Of course, this is for our family of four. So for two weeks, it's a lot of food. This is our lovely, this is our lovely little food stockpile. I tried really hard not to overdo it and make sure that there was enough food left for anybody who needed some, but, and I also got like some weird things that other people weren't getting. Like I bought like a five gallon tub of ice cream because like nobody else is buying those things. I bought like some trays of lobster mac and cheese because like no one's going for that stuff right now. So I was like, eh, we'll get the weird stuff. I'm fine with it. All right, and I don't know if you're interested or not, but here is my little like, other mini stockpile. And to all you people who have like 10,000 rolls of toilet paper, rude, it is not necessary. All of the things I have for this virus fit in this little cupboard and you really, you don't need more than that and if you have more than that, consider donating it to maybe an elderly neighbor or someone with kids or someone who might really need it. So, just a thought. In here we have this big bottle of hand sanitizer, which my friend gave me because I couldn't find any. I looked everywhere and it was gone by the time I went to get hand sanitizer. All I had was like the little purse ones that I normally have in the house. So shout out to my friend Lacey who just was like, you can have this. Like, that's really nice. This is all the hand sanitizer we have. We also have um, this food in here would be if someone were to get infected. So this would be if Gianni or myself or one of the boys gets sick and we need food. I have crackers, apple juice, and a bunch of cans of soup. So this is kind of like the if someone gets sick area. So that's what we got in there. We also have like a quarter of a bottle of Method anti back which is like two years old. Um, we also have two containers of bleach in here. Up here we have just two little boxes of tissue. Uh, these were from Aldi, they were like 99 cents. We also have a separate thermometer. I actually got this at Dollar Tree. I thought if someone was sick, we might wanna have a separate thermometer for them so that they're not spreading germs around. It's just like a thought I had. I have one pair of gloves. Uh, here we have some disinfectant wipes. I got these on Amazon like six months ago, so I already had these. Um, I did buy a smaller container uh, for um, when my husband was traveling, so he had these with him. Uh, but these ones I already had, so that was lucky as well. I did go out and buy uh, the disinfectant, the spray here, and this was like the only one left, and this was like, I don't know, a week ago when I got this. So I just got one, that's all I had. Then, I have some gummy vitamins, extra vitamins for my kids. 
Uh, and then I have some ibuprofen for me. Now right now, in the mail, through Amazon, it should be here in the next couple days, I also got some adult acetaminophen in case, um, you know, me and Johnny has a fever that we need to get down. We also have um, like Motrin and Tylenol, like kids Motrin and Tylenol as well for the boys. We already had plenty of that because we were battling the flu like two weeks ago, so before this craze even happened, we already stocked up on that, so that wasn't an issue for us either. Um, the only other things we have in here, we do have some antibacterial soap. Um, when I went to the store a couple weeks ago, they just, at Target, they had like just hundreds of these, and they were on sale for like a dollar. So I grabbed um, a couple of things of soap. I figured if we weren't gonna have any hand sanitizer, then we at least needed to be stocked in soap. And the last thing back here is I have a couple bottles of Pedialyte. Actually, it's Pediatric Electrolyte. I got this at Dollar Tree, actually. And this, of course, um, is for the boys if they get dehydrated, if they do get sick. So this is kind of just the, if something happens, look in here and we'll make that work. So. I think these people who are just having these mountains of stuff is completely outrageous. And if you are one of those people and you're watching this, really think about how much you really need for your family and maybe consider letting some of that go to people who need it. Cause like there's a lot of people who have nothing, a lot of elderly people who, and those are the people who are really at risk, who you really want to have these things. So maybe just think about it. If you have like, I don't know, 25 bottles of hand sanitizer, maybe give one to your local school or church or like grocery store or bank. Like think of all of the places that people are touching. You don't want to eat that? I can't, it's wet. It's wet? How is it wet? It's just, I rinsed those berries and you'll be fine. Silly kid. They're, they're, it's not wet, just eat your sandwich. What? Just eat your sandwich. It's an emergency, eat your sandwich. All right, for lunch today, you guys, I'm having a baked potato with barbecue sauce on it and this huge thing of grapes. This is really not an inspiring meal, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about this. What do you guys think of my C3PO? Do you like it? Yours are looking really good too. Good job. All right guys, it is getting close to five o'clock, so I'm gonna start dinner for the boys. Gianni isn't coming home till like seven-ish tonight, so I'm gonna make a separate dinner for us and we're gonna eat later. I kinda like to do that on nights he works late so that we still have our like time. All right, so I'm just using like a jar of pasta sauce for my uh, lasagna, but what I'm adding is some red lentils. I've rinsed them. Um, and you just simmer that in the sauce for like half an hour till they're all tender. And because I don't eat meat, this is like a way to make the lasagna like a little bit healthier, a little heartier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simmer that on the stove while the nugs are being cooked. I don't remember when this was put in the fridge. you guys it is like seven o'clock we're gonna start bedtimes I'm trying to keep my kids on their normal schedule and just try to keep things as normal as possible um, I guess thank you for watching this video and listening to me rant and like have some minor panicky moments um, I feel like in this time we all just need to try to be there for each other and even though at this moment I'm just talking to a camera it does feel like I'm talking to you and you know I see you like commenting all the time and I you know some of you follow me on Instagram I have a face to the name and like you guys are like real people in my arsenal of human interaction and that's very important right now so 
thank you all for just being there and um, try to be that way for someone else in your life too. You know, call up your friends maybe you haven't talked to in a while or a family member or maybe someone elderly who might need looking in on. Really try to just do maybe something like that today if you're up for it. I hope everybody stays as healthy as possible. Please, please, please stay inside if you can. If you go out, make sure you're trying to be as sanitary as possible. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. Disinfect things if you can, if you have the ability, if you manage to get some of those products. And I might even start uploading some extra videos just because I will be around here and I also just feel like I really need to keep myself busy so I will definitely still be uploading my normal uh, Wednesdays and Sundays but I haven't decided I might like throw in a few bonus videos in there um, just to kind of keep feeling connected. So uh, thanks for watching this video you guys and uh, sorry for the emotional roller coaster you had to go on but oh well this is real life right? And I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay healthy. Bye.